Hi, and welcome to another custom intro tutorial. This time we'll make a custom 20th century Fox intro, like this one. This one is not so difficult, so let's get started. What you'll need. Blender, you can get this from the blender.org site. I'll be using version 2.57b, but any 2.5 version should work. You'll also need a prepared zip folder, which includes the template files, the soundtrack, and the written instructions. The link is in the description. For the end, when you've rendered it, you'll also need a converting program or Windows Live Movie Maker. Now open up Blender. Press File, Open, then browse to the location where you unzipped the downloaded zip folder. Here you'll have the possibility to choose between two dot .blend files. The template number 2 looks like this. This is practical if you want an uh, intro with two lines, like this. If you want the original template file, choose the other template. I'll be working with this template so I can show you the basics on how to work with Blender. And you can create exactly the intro that you want. Let's get to the editing. I'll show you the basics, but you'll probably have to adapt these instructions to your need. It is important that you do not left-click on the graphics, as this will move the centered cursor. If you do, start over. To select, right-click. So, we'll right-click on the 20, and as I'll not be needing this for my intro, I'll delete it, so I'll press the delete button and confirm by left-clicking on the delete button. Now right-click on this, press delete and left-click. Right-click here, delete, right-click, delete, left-click. Now right-click on this text, press the tab key, backspace it out and enter your desired text. Press tab again. Now right click on this text, press the tab key, and change it to your desired text. Now as you see, my text doesn't really fit into the screen over here, so we'll have to resize it a bit. Left click on the green box here and drag it down to make it smaller. Left click on the red box and make this one smaller have to do this a few times to make it fit. Now we'll have to take the text up here down. Do this by right-clicking, then hold shift and right-click on the other elements. This will select all the upper things here. Now go down here and press the arrow. This should turn the boxes into arrows. So now you can left-click on the green arrow and pull this down to fit right on the top of your text. So far so good. When you're finished editing and are satisfied with the look over here, you can start rendering it. I've prepared it for rendering in full HD, so you can just leave this to render presets if you want a full HD. If you want a faster render or have a lame PC, change this to some smaller resolution like TV Poll or NTSC. Over here you can see the output folder. By default, this will render to C render. If you get an access is denied error while rendering, change this output directory to some folder in your user directory, like the download folder or the document folder. You can also just leave the output form into MPG. This will ensure compatibility with most video editing programs. When you're ready to render, press animation. Depending on your CPU power, this can take a few hours, so just be patient. When it is done rendering, browse to the location where you saved the file, and just import the music and the intro, and sync it up. Save it for high definition display, and you're done. That's it. I hope everything worked out for you. Like and subscribe and blah blah blah. If you got any questions, ask me in the comments. I hope to see you again soon for some other tutorial. Bye.